In contrast to the thinking of our ancestors, those who owned and ran Hawaii's big sugar plantations viewed our freshwater streams as an inexpensive resource. Years ago, they constructed huge systems on many of our islands to transport water from rainy windward mountainsides to dry leeward plains where they planted thousands of acres of sugarcane. For the past 80 years, the Waiaholi Ditch, named for the Valley of Waiaholi, has taken water from the windward streams through the mountains to irrigate sugarcane fields on the central plain. The origin of the water that flows in this ditch lies inside the rain-soaked Ko'olau mountain range. For millennia, before the ditch was built, the water came out of the mountain in springs and waterfalls and formed the many streams of the windward side of the island of Oahu. This chant names the many streams of the district, which irrigated extensive taro lands, poured into productive shoreline fish ponds, and fed the large estuary that is Kaneohe Bay. But in 1916, when the sugar planters began to take this water to the leeward side of the island through the Waiaholi Ditch, all life changed. Springs and streams disappeared almost overnight. The price paid and the sacrifice made by the residents of this district when the water was removed have never been calculated. For 80 years, they've been stealing our water, but for us, it's important that the streams are restored. You know, the stolen water is brought back so that we can plant taro over here. But the former plantation owners and the large landed estates don't want to give up their valuable water delivery system. One of the most important assets we have on this island is that tunnel and the ditches that take water from the Kahana, Waiholi, Waikani valleys and take it over where it's dry. Former sugarcane lands are filling up with residential and commercial development, which bring far greater financial return than growing sugarcane. Today, the most powerful players in Hawaii business and government are now facing off against a determined coalition of community groups in a showdown over the water that flows in Waiaholi Ditch. Uh, we're talking about planting taro so that we can eat our food, our cultural food, we can eat poi. We're talking about the water going down in the stream so we can eat opai, we can eat oopu, go all the way down to the ocean so that the fish can spawn in the estuaries. Because this is, you know, a very Hawaiian issue. We're talking about Hawaiian sovereignty. You know, we're talking about Hawaiian survival.